Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Had this game today, rolling out in the tier 8 premium tank, the Lion. This tank has seen a few upgrades over the past about year, and uh, it's pretty damn strong now. It didn't used to have this gun depression, the side armor wasn't as good, and uh, they kind of made it a little bit more spritzier and happier. And this is, since I haven't, I haven't played it in about six months, um, I've been a little bit rusty, but I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things now. And so I thought I would put this game up since this was my highest damage game ever recorded so far in the Lion. So as you can see, we're on airfield and over on this flank over here, they didn't have a light tank that decided to go over here because they didn't even have, their bulldog decided he was going to go hang out in the bottom part of the map. So that was great for me. It let me do this. No one was stopping me from doing this, so I just snapshotted a shot at the Yag Tiger, managed to hit him, and he was really stuck out here, so I came back out again, popped another one. The accuracy of the Lion's fantastic, it's why it's my favorite tier 8 tank, and actually my highest average damage tier 8 vehicle. <laughs> for for a, a vehicle that is uh, a premium vehicle and is not really as highly regarded as most, uh, most tier 8 heavies. This, uh, this thing I actually do the most damage in because of the gun. I love this gun. And I didn't didn't maybe aim that shot quite as much as I could have. But the, the gun handling on this tank is pretty good. You can pop out. If you don't move the hull, it's actually quite good. And again, lit accuracy, 333 damage. And got a shot maybe at this T28. And I don't really know if he was looking at me. But I plunked one at him there, and it only, uh, I think it busted something on his tank. Maybe his gun. And this guy wasn't pr paying enough attention, really. So I just popped out and blasted him for 306. And then the uh, Emil behind me shot him again. And let's see if I can get another shot. Oh, then the, the Yag Tiger shows up. And this is the tier 9 Yag Tiger. At first I thought he was the, the Yag 88. That was... Uh, Maybe it was a Yag Tiger that was out in the field. I thought it was a Yag 88. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, and then we got the tier 7 Japanese tank popping out. And gonna reload, gonna reload, gonna reload. And pop him in the top. Another 308 damage. Pretty low damage rolls here. And this guy's not feeling too good now. I can see all the flat spots on his armor. He's not angling his turret. He's not jostling around much. So... Ended up getting a good 350 roll pretty much into that one. And before I can get reloaded again, he is back off around the corner. So it is, it's supremely nice when there is not a light tank pestering you and shooting you in the side from the north. So this pretty much let me work this corner for the entire game. Things are going okay so far. I've done 2,561 damage. And I could see on the map that this IS was coming around. So I ended up shooting him, tracking him, so he burned his repair kit, but uh, he managed to repair, so unfortunately. And then again I was going to come around this corner and oh, I saw these guys waiting for me and I managed to bounce that shot from the T-54E1. So now he's down a shell. And again, I can see Tiger P, perfect shot. Shot went exactly where I wanted it to. My lion has uh, a three, almost four skill crew, so it's pretty good. It's one of my oldest crews. They are currently trained up to be my E100 crew whenever I can buy my E100, which I don't know when the hell that's going to be since I seem to be prioritizing all my, my tier 10 main battle tanks first. And when I came around the corner, <laughs> I see that the Yag Tiger is just waiting for me. And honestly, he probably could have rolled around and blasted me there. But he was playing really passively, and he chose not to. And, like, honestly, he could have just taken a shot. And him and the T-54-1 could have killed me at that point. But they were too scared, and they were a little bit too passive. And they let me just sit here. So it was at this point where I was kind of wondering what I should do. Should I go around the corner? What kind of backup do I have? I mean, if the Scorpion G was more over here, I might have been better off. But I didn't want to roll around there and give up my hit points for no reason. Because the game was pretty even, and I didn't want to chuck away my tank. 
and I was really hoping this T54 E1 would poke his little face around. And I was like, waiting, waiting, waiting. Come on, just do it. <laughs> it was a greater chance that I was going to be able to pen him than he was going to pen me, because my frontal armor is way better than his. But uh, he just chose to sit there and sit there and sit there and not do anything. So I decided to back out and try and change the angle here. And this guy was nice. He let me out. Me and him managed to do the most damage in this game. I think he did around 2,700 damage. And there was also a mil and a mil 2 that did a lot of damage as well. And it snapped that shot off, but just missed. Ended up going in the wall. And just going to back up, side scrape out, and hoping that he's going to stick his little face out. And he, he just chose not to. <laughs> and it was nice because there was no artillery, so I could just sit here all day. It was nice not being able to to get sit there and just have my life be chipped away and chipped away and chipped away. So it let me just sit on this corner. And this was another situation where if he catches me while I'm trying to move up, he can clip me for like 1600 damage. So I've got to be really, really careful. Like, because if I miss my shot, I'm in big trouble. But he thought he could catch me here, but he didn't. And I ended up killing him, <laughs> doing 102 damage left and finished him off. And now I figured it was a pretty good time to move up. I was trying to get the Emil to come around with me. And then the full health Tiger comes up. And there is a, another Tiger too, but he's running the B turret. And I'm, I'm not really sure if the that can mount the, the bigger gun or not. But like I'm sitting here and I was kind of wondering if the, the Emil is going to show up. Then he comes, he comes blasting around here. So then... I know I had more hit points, so I just went around and tried to, to get his attention. And I planted a 282 into his turret, and I wanted to get out here and soak up shots because I know he's an auto loader, and I was trying not to block him too much. So I was just planting stuff in his lower plate, managed to bounce another shot from him. Didn't burn my kit because I have a good repair crew. And I'm going to put one more in the side of this Yag Tiger. Unfortunately, I rolled a little bit too low, only did 309 again, so that kind of sucked. Saw the Yag Tiger fired, now I'm just going to side scrape out, and again, gives me too much of his side, and I planted one into him. And now there's only a Tiger 2 and a Yudes left, so I'm just going to push up and plant another one in his lower plate. Doing again, a low roll. <laughs> and he decided that he was just going to drive down there and try and get the Scorpion. So, I'm going to drive up, and he's going to try and plant one into the mill again, and hit him for a nice 348. And I, at this point, I had no idea where the other tank was. He was invisible the entire game until he shows up at the end with full hit points, and he kills our T25 too. So I've got to turn around, and luckily the, they've made the line a little bit quicker, so I'm able to get up here, and the Emil's going to hit him, track him, and... I'm gonna blast him in the the in his his back drive wheel there, and that was it. So that ended up being my third kill, and it was 5,026 damage. And this was also a mastery game and a high caliber, so it turned out to be a pretty good game. And it was mostly because there was no light tank or a tank destroyer harassing me from that back corner. So when you remove those two elements and you can get in a tank that's pretty good with side scraping and has a good turret and has a pretty good upper plate. Like the lion is pretty strong. I really love the gun. It's super accurate and it it does decent enough damage and I was able to pump out over 5k damage in this one. So yeah, surprisingly like I really love this tank and it's mostly down to the gun and now the turret. Like the turret's really really strong and with this kind of gun depression, it's really usable even against tier 10s. You can sit there and, and pump away on guys, and you can load in. I n almost never load in APCR, but for that last shot on this guy, I wanted to confirm damage to make sure the game was over. So I almost never have to load in APCR, but when I do, I mean, it's 311 pens, so it's pretty sweet.
or three, 290. It's really high. But, uh, yeah, that was a pretty fun game in the Lion, and I wanted to throw that out there. It's my <laughs> coming back World of Tanks video. I'm going to be trying to get some gameplay of Armored Warfare soon as well, so stay tuned for that. And make sure to check out all my social media links for all my new stuff on Steemit and Twitter and all the, the new stuff I'm going to be coming out with. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hitting like really helps the channel, helps my ranking and stuff, and get my video shown again. I'm going to be trying to pump out a video every day. So thanks everyone for watching. See you next time. So taking a look at the battle results screen, you can see that uh, it's a mastery game, high caliber. And on the next screen, you can see, well, I made 96,000 for this game. So that was pretty sweet. And it was a times three day. So that was nice and 4,608 for the experience. And you can see I blocked two shots, one from the T-54A1 and one from the IS-2. So for boom, 800 blocked on that. And yeah, our tier nine did 2,700. The other guy did 2,100. Not a bad game. Good profit, 72,000 credits for a non-premium account. See you guys later.